What's up, booktube? Welcome back. My name is Laura, if you're new here, and today we're doing my September TBR, which includes several readathons. Yeah, so I have three readathons going on in September, and I am stressed. <laughs> This is a lot. There is a lot going on and I am determined to do all three of them. But basically my plan is to read as much as humanly possible this month while also working a full-time job. And I'm also going on vacation at the end of the month. I'm going to Quebec with my family. So I'm very excited, but that will also take away the last weekend of the month. So who knows how much reading I'll actually be able to get done, but I'm going to try my hardest to get through as many prompts as possible. So let's get into what the readathons are. The first one that I've been planning on doing for a little while is the Not Safe for Workathon hosted by Paige over at Pages with Paige. Basically, the Not Safe for Workathon is a readathon with a like bingo board kind of thing, and basically you build your own BDSM scene so you can take the kinks and things that you are into or just prompts that you think are interesting and build your own personalized scene and read the books that go with each prompt. It sounds like so much fun. I wanted to do it the last time it was run but I just didn't have time to so I was determined that for the next round I was going to do it and it just so happens to be a BDSM themed one so it is perfect. <laughs> I just love this so much. It is hilarious and quirky and just so wonderful. So that is the first readathon that I'm going to be doing this month. I'm also going to be doing Becca's Bogobolathon round two and Becca's Bogobolathon if you somehow don't know, is based off of the TBR game that Becca in the Books does every single month where she has her own like Monopoly board for her TBR. It is so creative and so much fun. I did do Book Apple Athon last year and it was such a good time. So I've been so I've been very much looking forward to doing it again. So I've got that one going on and then I've also got G's Magical Readathon as well. The like newly revamped Magical Readathon I am so excited for. If you haven't seen her like introduction video for it, go watch it. Even if you're not planning on doing it, just go watch her video because it like she put in so much effort into this and it looks just incredible. And I will of course leave all these down below, but just especially that one go and watch. It is wild. <laughs> so for this one, G has made up her own kind of fantasy sci-fi world where we're all like living on a different planet and we're all from like different countries of the planet and we're all traveling to this magical school to uh, to, to start our first year at the academy. It is incredible how much work you put into this and I can't wait for it. This one is going to be my easier one for this month because this is just the novice path. So this is just the part of the readathon where we're all just traveling from our homes to the academy. So you only actually have to read two books for this one. So two of the books that I pick for the other two readathons, I'll be able to fit for this one. So that's kind of the plan. There's a lot going on here. There's obviously no operation happening this month, which is my TBR game that I made, just because that would be way too much going on. <laughs> so, so how this is going to work is I'm going to be using Becca's board to do all of my roles and kind of use hers as my base. And then every prompt that I pick for Becca's, I will also use the book that I picked for that one towards a prompt for the Not Save a Workathon, and then two of those books will work for the Magical Readathon as well. So there's going to be a lot going on here, but I hope it'll make sense once we kind of get started. So I didn't have time to go and print out Becca's board, so I'm just going to have it overlaid here for you guys, and then we can all follow along together. And then I just have some dice on my phone here. So we're doing it digitally this time. And then for the prompts of the chance cards and community shelf cards on Becca's board, um, I'm going to be using my own little things here. So I have my prompts jar for my operation board game which I'm going to use for the community shelf. I guess this is just a bunch of prompts that I've made up myself so it's kind of the same thing as the community shelf cards. And then for the chance cards I have my TBR jar which is almost every unread book on my shelf. I haven't updated it in a little bit so there are a few things that are missing but not too many. Usually for my operation game I typically only pick four books a month because that's a pretty attainable amount and then I still have some like mood read room later on. But for this one because I'm trying to read so many books um, this month and I'm trying to fill like as many of the prompts as I can for Not Sacred Workathon. I'm going to be choosing like as many small books as possible so I should be able to get through quite a few of them pretty easily. So I'm going to do five rolls to start. I might get some doubles. The rules for Becca's is that if you get a double then you have to add a roll to it so hopefully I won't end up with too many but at the same time I do really want to try and read as much as I possibly can in this month so wish me luck but let's get started here. So for rule number one we are getting a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Monsters. Okay. 
I like that. I think I'm going to go with Queen Takes Nights by Jolie Sue Burkhart. Uh, this is a vampire romance erotica novel, which sounds so cool. This is about a vampire queen and kind of the story of her becoming the queen of, the, of this vampire clan. It is apparently very smutty. Like this is just like pure vampire smut. So <laughs> I think it's also reverse harem as well for the Not Safe for thon This book I'm going to be using to fill my prompt for Dom, which is for a strong female lead. It just sounds like it's going to be a wild time. I've never read anything even kind of similar to this before. I read a little bit of like smut and erotica here and there, but not a whole lot. So this one is going to be a whole other thing than what I'm used to. So it's definitely going to be an experience. So hopefully I like it. And for the Magical Readathon, Queen Takes Night will fill my prompt for Ruin of the Sky, which is to read a book with supernatural elements. Rule number two. We got a 10. All right, doubles for me. So I'm already going to be adding another book to my TBR here. That's fine though, I don't mind that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Current events. Okay, so that's going to be a prompt with, that has some kind of like political um, commentary on it or like current things to it. For this one, I'm going to be reading Love Me For Who I Am by Kata Konoyama. This is a really cute sounding manga series about a non-binary person in high school who is very lonely and people just don't understand them and they just really want friends who just understands them as a person and doesn't judge them for being who they are. And one day one of their friends invites them to come work at their unconventional maid cafe and they agree and our story goes from there. This sounds like it's going to be so freaking sweet and for Not Safe For Workathon, this is going to be my prompt for spanking, which is to read a book that, that will leave a mark. I think this is going to hit me right in the feel, so it's definitely going to leave a mark and I can't wait to get to it. Roll number three. A five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, a spooky read. That's exciting. I am so excited. I was really hoping that I would land on this one uh, because it's September, so it's the start of spooky season, and I really want to read some creepy books, so I was really hoping to get this one. But for this one, I'm going to be reading The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. This one is a retelling of The Horror at Red Hook by H.P. Lovecraft. I know literally nothing about H.P. Lovecraft. I've never read any of his books, so I have no clue clue what the actual story is, so I'm not too sure like how accurate a retelling this is going to be, but I do know that this book is also a portal fantasy and there's magic involved, so I'm obviously very excited. I don't know anything else about The Ballad of Black Tom, so sorry for the lack of synopsis, but this book is going to fill my prompt for Blindfold for Not Sleep Marathon, which is to go into a book blind. So I can't look up any more information to tell you a better synopsis. All I know is that it's a portal fantasy H.P. Lovecraft retelling, so I'm sold. <laughs> the Ballad of Black Tom will also be included in my Magical Readathon TBR for this month. It fills the prompt for The Mist of Solitude, which is to read a standalone. Roll number three, we're gonna get a six, another double. Uh oh, okay, so that's now going to be seven rolls for Becca's Black Hobblethon. Oh boy, and six is going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, a feed scroll. All right, that's gonna be interesting. This one makes me very nervous because this could go so many directions. I could end up picking a book that doesn't work for any of the other readathons that I'm doing. So hopefully that doesn't happen and fate will be kind to me and uh, somehow I'll end up with something that works for everything else too. So I'm going to open up Bookstagram here. Hi, Lara. <laughs> Okay, The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis. Let's see if I have access to that one from my library. I do. I forget the synopsis, so I'm just going to read it. It says, combining the social commentary of The Handmaid's Tale with the white knuckled thrills of Red Rising, this epic space opera filled with lush prose follows a comfort woman as she claims her agency as soldier questioning his allegiances and a non-binary hero out to save the solar system. That sounds fucking cool. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Okay, that's cool. I like that. But the question is, can I figure out how to work that into my Not Safe for Workathon TBR? Let's find out. The answer is yes, I can. I'm going to be using this book for my edge play prompt for Not Safe for Workathon, which is to read a book with a dual perspective. I'm assuming it does based on the description. Rule number five. A six. All right, no doubles this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, a chance card. All right, that'll be interesting. I think I, I made my TBR jar like probably, oh God, it was, it was over two years ago. And I think I've used it like once. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Let's 
crack her open and let's uh, reach in here. My hand doesn't fit, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so again, this is not uh, fully updated. There are a couple of books. I'm dropping things, oh God. There are a couple of books um, that I've purchased since the last time I have to do this that are not gonna be on here, but most of them will be. So I've got the green one here. Let's see what I have got. The Storm of Life. That is this beautiful book right here, which I have been meaning to read for a very long time and I haven't gotten around to it. This is a little bit of a chunkier book that I wanted to read for this month. I wanted to stick with like pretty short books, but I'm also not mad about this one. This one is the sequel to The Brilliant Death, which I read uh, like three years ago and I just absolutely adored it. I was waiting so long for the sequel to come out and I just haven't gotten to it because I'm like the worst for sequels. But this duology is set in a Italian inspired fantasy world and a follows our main character who is the daughter of a like mafia lord pretty much and she loves her family so much but there is something threatening her family's life and so she has to take it into her own hand but she secretly has magic she is a striker I think I'm probably saying that horribly wrong so I, I apologize nobody else knows about her magic but one day she meets somebody else who is also a striker I think their name is cello I'm not really sure how to pronounce it either um, but I was pronouncing it like cello, so hopefully I'm correct. But this character is also a strega, and they come in and start teaching her how to use her magic properly. But the fun thing with cello is that, they're, is that they are able to change their form to like literally anything. They can become a bird, a book, like literally anything. But they often choose to use their magic by changing their like physical form from male to female whenever they feel like it. And these two meet and they end up falling in love uh, amidst all the craziness of their world. And along the way she sees cello kind of like changing their gender and she's like, Maybe I want to do that. So she's also questioning her gender and like, everything is just wonderful. This is just the like perfect genderqueer book and I love it so much. So I've been dying to get to the sequel and I'm very happy to finally get to it. I started a few times and just wasn't in the mood for it so I put it down. But this time I am determined to actually finally get to this one. And for Nazi Rubathon, this one is going to fill the prompt for role play, which is to read a book that I've been wanting to read for a while but I've been too tied up to do it. <laughs> role number six. A6, all right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, community shelf. All right, so we're using both of my little jars today. <laughs> I'm going to be using my prompts that I use for operation and I did not grab a bigger cup for this so I'm probably going to drop several things um, so I'm just gonna try really carefully to get to the bottom and not oh there goes one thing <laughs> okay oh god there goes more oh god all right what have we got I doubt you can see that from there, so I'll just read it out loud. Friend picks a book that they think you'll love. Okay, that actually works really well because there's a prompt on Not Safe for Marathon to have a friend pick for you, and that is the service submissive prompt. Right now though, my one roommate is at work and the other one is currently asleep, so I can't pick one right now, so Editing Laura will have to pop in later on once we have picked a book together. <laughs> Hello, Editing Laura here. So I have consulted my roommates and my one roommate gave me a long list of a bunch of recommendations. Um, so I went through that list and I'm going to be reading Taming Demons for Beginners by, I forget the author and I'm filming on my phone so I can't check, but I'll have a picture here so you can see who, who wrote it. But this one sounds like so much fun. It is a urban fantasy set in Vancouver, I think it is, which is great because I really need to read more Canadian books. And it's about a girl who moves into her uncle's house and learns that there is a illegal um, demon selling ring in the basement and she tries to stop it. Apparently it is hilarious and a very fast read and my roommate is obsessed with it. It's her only five star read of the year so far and she's just in love with it. So I can't wait to get to it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Roll number seven, and hopefully the last roll, please be kind to me. A 12, and not the last roll, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who? Which is to read a book that you've heard very few people talking about. And for this one, I'm going to be reading Cat's Cafe by Matt Tarpley, uh, which is a really cute looking graphic novel about a cat cafe run by cats. My friend Roxanne over at Roxanne Can Read recommended this one to me, but I've heard nobody else talking about it aside from her. And I think it has like very few ratings on Goodreads as well, so I don't think it's a very hyped book, but it looks so cute and I need to read it. And it's also going to be filling my prompt for Pet Play for Not Save a Burkathon, which is to read a book with a animal on the cover. And roll number eight, hopefully actually the last roll this time. A three, okay, yeah, that is the last roll. 
One, two, three, another community shelf. So I'm going to be picking another one from my little jar here. So let's dig in here. Please don't drop anymore. I'm definitely gonna drop more. Yep, there goes one. <laughs> there goes another one. Here we go. Let's see. Still can't see that. <laughs> Uh, a library book. Okay, that's easy enough. For this one I'm going to be reading Isn't It Romantic by Lisa K. Adam, which is the fourth book in the Bromance Book Club series. I read the third book in August and I just adored it. I love this whole series. It's just fantastic. This book is, is the romance of the character who they call the Russian, uh, who is this hockey player. He's obviously from, from Russia. And I'm kind of curious to see how this one goes because like he's described as a very gross character. Like he is constantly just like farting and like clearing out the room he like is kind of smelly and awkward and weird but he also has a heart of gold like he is a very sweet and caring he's he's a very emotional kind of guy and i'm actually like really looking forward to it because in this one the synopsis it said he's like leaving his current wife because she doesn't treat him how he deserves to be treated and he just wants to find a love that he just deserves to have and it sounds so sweet so i can't wait for it and then for not sleep for Burgathon, this one is going to fill the prompt for bite mark which is a book that I've been dying to sink my teeth into. Okay, and that is my very complicated TBR for the very many readathons that I'm doing for this month. Why am I doing this to myself? Ah, I cannot wait to get to all these readathons. They seem like they're going to be so much fun. Um, I do have a lot of reading ahead of me though, so wish me luck. I'm really hoping I'll be able to get through my core TBR, and then anything after that, I'm going to be trying to fill out the rest of the prompts for the Not Save a I have no clue how I'm going to manage to read all of these books, but I I believe in myself. I hope you believe in me too. If you're also doing any of these readathons, let me know down below. Especially if you've posted a TBR video for any of these ones. I would love to watch it. So let me know down below in the comments. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!